to my YouTube channel. My name is Tomomi Galliano, Certified Zentango Teacher. Today is day two of October 2023. Today's tango is Flame Flower by Deb Boyer. I have other videos on my YouTube channel, like this one was from yesterday, day one of October. Uh, this tango is called Be Light from Zentango Official Tango List. And today, uh, we're gonna do a flame flower together on a black tile. I picked black tile because I thought it would be a fun, fun tangle, pretty easy, quick and easy tangle to do on uh, black tile. You can do on any color, um, gray, white, uh, tan, whatever you, uh, you choose will be just beautiful. So this tangle is inspired by poinsettia, according to Deb. Um, so it's gonna start with a um, cluster of white orbs in the, uh, in the middle of poinsettia flower. So I'm gonna do this with white charcoal pencil, but you can do this with white pen. I'm gonna create a, a cluster of white orbs. You can do this in the middle in the middle but I wanna I'm gonna do a little off center so this will be my uh, the center of my flower or poinsettia um, or flame flower and I will switch to my gel pen I'm gonna use all eight of jelly roll pen and you're gonna create this pointy uh, pointed uh, flower petal so I guess that's I guess it's like flame shape Maybe that's why it's called flame flower or maybe it's inspired by the color of poinsettia so it's going to be this kind of upside down teardrop shape and then you can add however many petals that you would like maybe four five six um i will try to do five i don't know i like i like five petal flowers and it will have to be exactly the same size, exactly the same shape. This is a very organic, like this. And you're gonna add another set of petals in between these two. So this one's gonna be slightly bigger, slightly longer. Um, make sure you turn your tile as you draw and each of the flower petals are pointing toward the center. I think that's gonna help you balance the petals or balance the flower shape better. This, so this one's gonna go over to the edge. So this one looks like, kind of sort of almost look like Zentangle official tangle sign that has a start with the center so that might be a little easier to draw and then I'm gonna add some white charcoals I'm just gonna I'll see I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, kind of dust all over inside inside each of the petals very lightly just a light touch just a little dust and then you can uh, you can use different colors I'm gonna start with white and I may I may choose to add colors later but we'll see how white's gonna look like uh, since this is inspired by poinsettia, you can you can add red. That's gonna be beautiful too. Um, but since white is a good starting point, and as you work with your tortillon, just go gentle. Don't go over too many times, so don't add too much pressure, because that's gonna varnish the surface of the pa uh, paper and if you want to add anything later it's going to make it difficult so just go with a really gentle touch i'm 
kind of like it as white. Um, and why I did the center with pencil is I'm just gonna blend in like this. And you can still see a little bit of white lines, but it's almost gone. And then you go back in again and add layers of white and it has a little bit of dimension and texture by doing this so you can try that and as you notice some of the white line may get a little messy if that's the case you can go over again with your white so this tangle unlike sign there's one more step i didn't do it's gonna have nice vein like if you think of a poinsettia i don't know if poinsettias are flower or leaves but they have veins that's part of this tangle flame flower so instead of doing the veins uh, with white i want to do veins with my black pen so this is the most subtle very subtle, very elegant. Oops, I, oh, I went over the white with my black pen. It's okay, we can fix that. So this is just adding a little more texture. So this is day two of Inktober and I, I don't know if I mentioned yesterday but there are several Inktobers in Tangle, Tangle list published by different uh, people but the one that I'm using is in the comment. Uh, it is published by Stephanie Jennifer in Singapore. Um, that's the one that I've been using for, for many years. And I'm just doing small projects, small piece each day because it's going to be every day and there's going to be so many different resources for us to check out. So I want to keep my project simple so that you can check out other projects as well. So this is the basic idea of, uh, what was that, flame flower. And you can go one more layer too if you feel like it I don't know should I do should I do one more maybe maybe not I'll, I'll leave it as it is and I'm actually gonna add a border I didn't I didn't do the border or corner and the border at the beginning but I'm gonna do border like I did with yesterday's tangle instead of doing it at the beginning I decided to do this now just to balance out this tile as you can see that I wasn't I didn't have any pre-planned um, anything as I start doing today's tangle so I'm just going with the flow um, you can do uh, exactly what I'm doing or try doing something completely different. It's your, it's your time, it's your creativity. Just do what feels best for you. And okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of white ink in the middle to brighten that. And I will add my chop and thank you for tangling with me this was inktober 2023 day two today's tangle was uh, flame flower by deb boyer if you like my videos uh, please subscri uh, subscribe to my channel and i will see you tomorrow for day three of inktober thank you bye mm -hmm.